continues our coverage from Memphis this morning. And Andrew, you say you found a piece of Quad Cities history down there. Yeah, David, we found a huge piece of Quad Cities history down here in Memphis of all places. And it is a literal diamond in the rough that is now rising up out of the water and now out of the mud. Of course, we're speaking about the Diamond Lady Riverboat Casino, which of course was christened in the Quad Cities, in Bettendorf to be exact. So it was one of the first gambling riverboats on the Mississippi River for the Iowa Quad Cities, christened by none other than Vanna White back in 1991. And now here at the Riverside Marina, uh, it sits in a very sad state after partially sinking years ago. Now it has a twin boat, the Emerald Lady, which was destroyed in Hurricane Katrina. And many of you, well, you may remember testing your luck on this exact boat with the slot machines while cruising down the river. And the owner of the marina, well, she tells me that uh, it's in bad shape right now, but it could potentially float again should those waters begin rising. A lot of people are stealing parts off of it. So it sunk. And then my, has my husband had to go over there and get it raised. So we brought it over here, and we've been watching it for 10 years or so, right there in that spot, and the ice got on it, and it weighted it down, and that's what made it sink. But see, when we come up, it's gonna float again, because we done got it all pumped out and everything. Now this boat has a very long history in terms of why it ended up here in Memphis, but you can read more about that, of course, on WQAD.com a little bit later this morning. But the current owner, uh, Stanley says, is a Mr. Mustafa who lives in New Jersey, and she says he actually had plans to do something with this riverboat, but for whatever reason, just has not been able to get those plans off the ground. So here it sits very eerily, uh, now mostly out of the water, just waiting for that water to come back in so that perhaps it may be floating once again. David? All right, Andrew, thank you. And outside, it looks like there's quite a bit of damage. Is that the same case for the inside of the boat? Yeah, we were not able to go inside just for our own safety. We don't know just how uh, sturdy that structure is. I mean, just look at the outside of it. It really gives you a kind of perspective of how, of how much in bad shape it is. But we did be, uh, find some video online of some folks that have gone in there uh, and done some documentation as to what's left. And there really isn't much. There's still some of the original molding on the ceiling and the walls, some posters directing uh, visitors where to go for different gaming machines. But in terms of actual things left inside, it's pretty much empty. And as we heard from Stanley as well, the owner there, there's been a lot of people that have been walking up to that boat now that it's out of the water and actually taking things from it. So we don't advise that you come down here. It's on private property. We were blessed that the owner was allowing us to go there to document this piece of history. But hopefully again, like I said uh, earlier, someday we're going to see it float once again. Fingers David. crossed, Andrew. Thank you so much. It is 634.